Back to your regular scheduled programming. I'm in London, it's raining on me. I'm stuck behind a line of cars. And today's video is a vlog. Been in town four days now and every single video has been a Bike Fit Tuesday. So I thought I'd come into town, spin around, have a few meetings, catch up with some people. First one is Ben and I'm late. I wasn't accounting for cars because you know, there isn't any up north. Did you get rained on? I got rained on a lot. Off, it's really warm, isn't it? It's really warm. <laughs> have a nice ride in the rain together and now it's just beautiful and sunny yeah i put my below toes yeah you're wearing your rain wearing my rain below. jackets below toes below toes below toes is that how you say it where are we going uh oh uh we could go to mm, well i don't know <laughs> i want to find a place where we can talk about the secret thing that you told me about which isn't oh. a secret because we can talk about it on video ben sent me a message the other day saying do you want to be on my team and he wouldn't take no for an answer. I mean, so I said yes. I mean, it was hardly, I asked twice and you just said yes. Well, you, In fact, actually, I didn't even have to ask twice. I just said, do you want twice. to be on my team? And you said, what, what team? And I said, do you want to be on it? And you said, yes. That's asking twice. Uh, that is asking twice. We've basically achieved nothing that we intended to achieve. Well, that's why I've got the camera out. Is that we've been sat at this cafe for a while, but let's... Um... So for people who don't know, Ben runs a charity called The New Normal, uh, abbreviated to TNN because the new normal is used too much these days and it's really annoying yeah basically so yeah. tnn uh we've done a separate video on it which i'll put in the description down below so we won't go into it here but essentially you have got a special idea in mind of how to raise some money for the charity and i want to know more about it can i ask you a question before i talk about it are you going to admit to people how many times you just tried to say that no that was one take. New Normal are looking at ways to try and fundraise money. Um, we're a charity that so far has managed to survive on absolutely nothing. Everything that we've done up to this point has been, um, you know, done with a really small amount of money, essentially, about £1,500 in three years. The New Normal is a charity that helps connect young adults who are going through uh, life's difficult moments. Um, so it effectively brings people together to speak about grief, to speak about mental health, loss, bereavement, um, and we put people in a room. But we do it completely free of charge. These services cost nothing. We run 24 groups a month. Um, but up to this point, we've done it with no money. Um, and so we've been looking at creative and fun ways to raise money rather than just turning around to people and saying, give us money. So what is the creative and fun way that you have decided on? We're doing, uh, throughout the month of August, a race to nowhere. Uh, a race to nowhere is 10 teams of 10 riders riding collectively 10,000 kilometers each between the team. You are one of my team members, along with some other better bike riders. Are you aware that I now ride mountain bikes, so actually I don't really ride very far? The top three teams win a prize, and I've intentionally brought you in as a ringer who doesn't ride very far so that my team doesn't win anything. Because how bad would it look if we set up an event for the charity and then my team won? That would be really, really bad. I'm going to put some more information down below, uh, details on how to enter if you want to start your own team and a bit about the prizes as well. So if you want to head there, find out some more information. If you want to get a team involved, um, if you want to, if, if you want to find out more information, get in touch with me directly for now. Um, we're going to start talking about this properly on socials in the coming weeks. Um, Francis will be talking lots more about it, I'm sure. Riding your mountain bike, 40k every couple of days. Brilliant. Yeah, but get in touch. Bye. See you. I'm going to go oh, meet a man next... about a broken arm and some jewellery. I'm going to see you next Friday. See you next Friday. Friday. Oh. Surf. No, surf. Come. Come. Yeah, he deserves to be in the video for what he's just done. That was, that was all wild. He undercut you <laughs> and then went through a red light and then over a pedestrian crossing with pedestrians crossing. That was terrible. Welcome back to London. <laughs> yeah. This next meeting I'm actually getting an Uber to, so I need to ditch my bike. 
it's over in Essex, a bit too far to ride on a mountain bike. Luckily, I've got some mates over at Fettel who are going to look after it for me. It's hard work this, probably should have brought my road bike. Hello mate. This is Justin. Hey. <laughs> we were supposed to be doing this meeting on bikes, weren't we? Yeah, unfortunately there was a few things that happened. I was expecting you to be wearing a sling, but you're not. I'm not, no. So <laughs> We're gonna have to sub in the picture of what happened. Yeah, we'll show you what happened. I mean, you might be able to see a little bit of the, the remnants. We're gonna have to censor it, no. My scar, I'm lucky that I've got a, well, I say lucky, I've got a massive plate in my arm now. Um, fell off my road bike five in the morning. Broke my hemorrhoids straight in half. Managed to shoot a piece of bone that came out of my forearm, which was pretty horrible. And that's about five weeks ago. Lucky because I've had a big metal plate in, I don't have to have a sling. And I was actually told I can ride a bike as of yesterday. So, although I can't reach straight enough to ride a bike yet, I'm working on it. Physio. Well, you've got a uh, perfectly good XC bike here, so I'm expecting yeah. my first to ride some trails next week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll be all right. My first ride I did on that because I went full suspension, eight kilometers. That's what I managed for my first ride. Baby steps. That's it. We'll be back yeah, on yeah, it and we'll do a ride sure. together. I'm not just here to look at bikes though. I'm gonna show you what he's got upstairs as well. That sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? <laughs> what it is. It's not, it's not anything bad. See, fine. I'm quiet. <laughs> so who recognizes this? This isn't Liam's one. No. So Liam Yates did a giveaway with you of some cycling specific jewellery and it was basically one of these that's tiny gave, little we, physique we, saddles. That's the one we gave away. In essence, the same sort of finish. Liam owns one personally that he's been wearing every time he rides, which is a yellow gold and black version. Yeah. Um, and we can do any different types. So rose gold, black gold, yellow gold and mix them together. And it's just one of the first things we've made so far. That's really cool. Out of all the cycling related things, I think a saddle is... Um, it's, it's probably choice. one of the best in the it's a nice shape. We've yeah. got a few other ideas for equally cool things, but that's the first product that we've come up with. Like a modern age of a jeweler, I suppose, um, which is quite strange because if people ask me, if you gave me some tools and a piece of gold, I couldn't make anything with it. So it's completely done on a computer in a piece of software. Everything's down to every single diamond or stone or finish. Everything you do is done on there. Um, and then they we send that file to the goldsmiths and the goldsmith 3D print it. So 3D printing has come to the point where it's so advanced that down to a micron of a millimeter, you can 3D print in the wax and then they turn the wax into the gold. And then I send the gold to a diamond setter. So I have family friends in Antwerp, which is like a big diamond district. They, I give them a map. So I literally will show them what size stone goes in what hole on like pretty much like a paint by numbers. And then they put all the stones in for me, send it back. And then that's how we get the finished products. So. A lot of traditional jewelers are probably sort of, it's, the whole industry is changing. So really like an old school jeweler would, would almost dislike me because it's like a new generation of jewelers that do it all on a computer and we don't know the rules and things you're allowed to do. And it's one of those things. So yeah, we're like the new gen of jewelers. I know one for one exactly, like if I show you a render of what I've done on the computer versus the finished product, they're identical in every way. There's not a single change. So it makes it a lot easier to work with customers who want to make changes and go back and forward. This is actually a design from a tattooist. And it's a mixture of rose gold, white gold, black rhodium. It's my wife's name. So it's one of the, that was actually the first piece of jewelry I made. This is probably the most expensive piece that we have. So this is 11 GIA certified big stones. So they're a carat each. And this is 2.5 carats in the middle. How much is that? 80,000. <laughs> this is the whoop heart rate sensor that I actually wear. I added diamonds to it today. So that's the first <laughs> time that's ever been done. Out, out. What Tofu was trying to say there was link down below. Link down below. Give you a follow. All dreams real. Third meeting of today with Daisy at dinner with a friend that we haven't seen for a while as well. You turned up without a bike. Now I've got to ride home on my own. 
really tired. Oh, yeah. little reunion with Paul Dog. Hey, how have you been? I'm good. You Last know. time I saw you, we shaved you. Going back, a bit greyer, hair still. Uh, hair rug. You're definitely gonna get home before I am. Enjoy the train. How you even get there? Yeah, yeah, take care. I'll see you. So that marks the end of an exhausting day. I'm absolutely knackered. Fantastic day though, great to catch up with Ben. Really good to meet Justin. It goes to show uh, one of the massive benefits of running a YouTube channel like this is that you meet really interesting people. I don't know much about jewelry, but he's got into cycling recently and that's why he got in touch. Uh, and I think we're gonna be doing a giveaway similar to the one that Liam Yates did. We're gonna discuss plans in the next few weeks and work out how it will be structured. But if you've got this far in the video, let us know in the comment section what part of a bicycle would you like to see made into jewelry? Because according to him, Absolutely anything is possible, but saddle's already been done. All the links are gonna be down in the description down below if you wanted to give him and his new cycling specific page a follow. Uh, equally, all the TNN links and the links to Ben's Instagram if you wanna give him a follow or get in touch with him about the fundraising teams. As always, thank you so much for watching these videos. I'm gonna take a day off, edit on the laptop all day tomorrow and recover. See you guys soon for what will be a very big week because I'm filming the Internationals trying to break a world record from Land's End to John Groats. Stay tuned for that. See you guys soon.